All right, several, several of you have been having some troubles with the graph in Excel, so um, I will walk you through the process here, and um, you can see how to do the editing and put the lines in and all that fun stuff. So keep in mind, I'm using a Mac. I'm using the newest version of uh, uh, Microsoft Office Suite, so I can't remember what it is for Mac 2011 or something, but the procedure is roughly the same uh, for, the other, for the other versions, either on PC or older versions of Mac or whatever. Uh, it's all similar. It's all there. It's just harder to find or easier to find. It's really hard to find in the new version. The old versions, it's pretty easy. So I'll explain some of that stuff as we go. So, all right, so here's the behavior that I chose, nose picking. Okay, now let me just zoom this in a little bit so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, zoom in 100%. So it shows the behavior of nose picking. We got days up here, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, so on and so forth. Uh, we're gonna say our baseline is right here at day four. So sometimes what I do is I draw a line in here uh, for my baseline stuff. I put a border on the right just so I can see it. So you can kind of see that I put a border there. You don't have to, it's just, that's what I did. Uh, so to create the graph, highlight it, go to charts tab, choose a line graph, choose a marked line and click it, you're done. Okay, it's that simple. Right? So you're going to see some things change here. So I'm going to modify this, make it a little bigger. Okay. Uh, it already labeled the nose picking for us. You might have to change that. You might not. You can double click on it. When you double click on it, it'll come up with labels and all sorts of stuff that you can do. So I'm just going to cancel that for now. Uh, let's see what do we have. All right. So we want to put our baseline in. According to the data here, I said baseline ended at day four. So there's day four. There's the data point for day four. If I click this line once, just a single click, notice what happens, all the data points get selected. If I click it again, on the data point after your baseline, now just that data point should be selected. Double click it after, it's like this, right? So we're gonna start from scratch. Click once on the line, the second click needs to be just by itself on the data point after, your ba after the end of your baseline. Now, after it's selected by that, double click it, all right? and this window will pop up right here. Now options is probably what you'll have, marker fill, marker style, blah, blah, blah. Go to the line and choose no line. Hit OK. Notice how it broke that line? That's what we're after. And that, that separates your baseline and your intervention. Now notice it also screws up your, uh, what do you call it, your key over here. So go ahead and just get rid of your key at that point. You may need to add that back later for different purposes, but we'll, I'll let you guys deal with that on a one-on-one -on -one basis. The graph isn't done yet. It's still ugly. So let's get rid of these lines in the background. Okay, so Just click on the line itself, right? That The background, that gray line in the background. Click on one of those things. So if I click off of it here, you can see what I'll do. So again, there we go. I've got it clicked. You can see all those lines are selected. Just hit delete. Away they go. Right. So what I've told you is you need to label baseline. You need to label intervention. You also need that vertical line in here to separate those two. That gets a little tricky, especially in the newer versions. Um, so I've had some problems with it, with this, but I finally figured out how to do it. Um, in the old versions, you need to use your drawing menu. Okay? In the new version, you don't do that. You use the insert function. Now, I have this, uh, this recording recording on the wrong screen, so you can't see my menu where it says insert, but it's at the top of the screen. It says insert, you know, file, edit, insert, and format, tools, chart, window, etc. Go to the insert menu and say insert picture, then choose shape. Okay. What will pop up is this. So a shape window. Okay. So grab the line. Okay. So I'm going to insert a shape, double click it, and then notice my cursor changed to a crosshair. Now I'm just going to draw a line where that is. And I hold shift down to make it a perfect straight line. Done. Okay, and I just drew my line. Now we need to insert um, text. Okay, so inserting text is rather easy. So we're going to do the same sort of thing, but this time we're going to do smart art. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Now we're going to go insert again, and we're going to choose instead of shape this time, we're going to choose word art. See how it pops up with this gigantic your text here thing? All right, move that over to your baseline. Just type baseline. Notice that's ugly. It's got weird formatting in it, so we're just going to reduce that size down to about 16. Still got weird formatting in it, but the size is better. Uh, now I'm going to do the effect. I'm just going to do no outline. Oh, yeah, undo. Okay, so I need to go to the text and change the effects. I don't want a shadow, so I choose no shadow. 
Um, I don't want an outline on it, and I just want to fill. So I'm going to fill with black, and I'm going to get rid of my outline, and there it is. And to make it easy on yourself, just copy and paste that whole thing over and change the lettering. So I'm going to see V, and as it pops up, done. That's all you need. Ooh, that's all you need to do for your graph. So the cool thing is maybe you made a typo here. As long as your graph is still linked to your data, go nine, and it changes the data. Right? So eight, eight. You get the idea. Right? So as long as that's still linked, you can always make edits to it. Um, and then if you want to, if you're doing this in Excel, of course you can't just get this thing straight into your your Google Doc. Uh, so what I would do is click on it once. Right? Um, and so the graph is selected. Notice that no, nothing inside the graph is selected, but notice how the difference here, the outside of the graph is selected. Right click on it, and you can save as picture. Save as picture, title it, my chart, or whatever in the world you want. Uh, I'm just putting mine on the desktop so I don't forget to delete it. And now it's a file that you can import directly into your, uh, into your Google Doc. So that's it. Talk to you soon. Bye.